Hey guys, so I'm back and um, I'm with my little co-pilot here. Okay, this is ridiculous, you guys know that. Um, oh, you guys probably saw from my Instagram post, but um, so Xiao, this is Xiao, he has like a malocclusion, mal I don't remember, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's where his teeth grow really, really like fast in the wrong way. So his bottom teeth will grow out and his lower teeth will grow they're just horrible like they're like tusks they become tusks so I have to get take him to the vet once a month to have them cut off pretty much cut down so this is pretty much a situation this is how I travel with both of my rabbits I just put a, a little um, a little sorry towel down I give them hay and some kale and some like shredded carrots and I bring treats it's almost like a child and um, they I don't have a carrying case for them or anything like that they don't they're not caged so they don't even know what a cage kind of thing is they don't like it he'll just end up going to sleep in about 10 minutes cur curling up in a ball and even if I take them both with me somewhere they both just end up sleeping the whole time so they're actually really good travelers I don't know um, I think I have like an authoritative uh, kind of personality so they just listen to me I don't know I don't yell I just like hold them I don't know I just feel like they listen to me <laughs> All right, so um, that's it. I just wanted to kind of show you guys how I travel with Xiao and Bao. Yeah. Hey guys, so it's now the next day, just so you know. Um, and I'm making my coffee. And I want to show you guys how I make it because I probably make it different than you do who own um, Nespresso. I use half and half. And I um, I just, because I've been doing it so long, I know how I know where to stop pouring in here in my arachino. Um, I know, I, I measure out two tablespoons pretty much because two tablespoons is 40 calories um, in here. And so instead of doing milk, I do half and half. It's more creamy, um, it's definitely more satisfying and it's only 40 calories. Um, and then today, these are my favorite, the teal and then this olive green one and the purple. I like the black ones too, but um, I don't know why I didn't get those this time. And then I went um, yesterday because the vet is near my parents' house, and I went um, and I asked my mom. I was like, I'm having a craving for lemon squares, and I love her lemon squares. She makes them really thin, so they're not too like jelly, I guess is the word. Um, I just love them; they're really good. Um, so today I'm gonna do. I'll, ugh, I think this is my favorite one. I've been picking this one more. I'll do this one because I feel like I have more of this one in my jar. Yeah, I do, I do two of those. Xiao Xiao, what are you doing? Xiao Xiao, what are you doing? Xiao Xiao, what are you doing up there, you silly? Isn't he cute? It's so funny when Bao tries to jump on the castle. He's such like a like a klutz, and he'll make like a lot of noise or like fall off. And so I was like more like limber and playful. Hi, Xiao. Uh, so um, yeah, I'm I don't know. I'm just watching. I'm not really watching actually. I turned on like um, TCM. And what I do is I like go through like the next couple days to see if there's something I want to record. And I thought, cause you guys, a lot of you guys asked like what my favorite classic movies are. And I'm not like a huge classic movie buff. Like I'm not a buff at all. I mean, I, I like classic, I love classic movies, but I'm picky about, of course I am, right? Like, what am I not picky about? <laughs> like it's difficult for me to give classic movies a chance sometimes just because they can be like kind of boring, but if I know it's a good movie, or if my mom tells me it's a good movie because she's a really big buff, then um, and kind of, she kind of knows what I like. Like I like twists and suspension and really pretty, like um, what's it called, like Art Deco time periods and things like that. So if it has any of those kind of elements, then I really like it or them. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I have recording now, so or which ones I like um, right now, so you guys, because a lot of you guys have asked. So I have Suspicion recording, and my mom told me that was a really good one with Joan Fontaine and Cary Grant. Okay, I'm not a huge Cary Grant fan. I don't know why. I just, I know it's so weird. I just, I can't. My I, my mom, we like we always laugh because it's like, how am I not? But I'm just not. Um, and then I have 
Gaslight with Ingrid Bergman. Never seen it. Ca Casablanca. I saw it a long time ago. Miss Miniver with Greer Garson. And I heard that was like, that's a really good one. Um, Million Dollar Mermaid with Esther Williams. Only, it only has two stars. But I just wanted to see, because she's like so fab and like beautiful and she's a great swimmer. I just wanted to see what she looks like and how she acts. Um, and then I have The Public Enemy with Jean Harlow and Random Harvest with Greer Garson again, Camille with Greta Garbo. So I have a lot to watch. I have other ones too that don't sound too interesting. Um, and then I just have like other things like Joyce Meyer. She's like, um, a Christian pastor. I just think she's like so positive and uplifting and I just really, I really like her a lot just listening to her. I think she really speaks to me. And then Sanford and Son, of course. <laughs> Those are the things that I have kind of um, taping. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys because you guys asked. And then, um, oh my God, I need to start out this video with saying, I should have started out with saying, like, this is going to be so confusing because there's like multiple days compiled in this one and I haven't like said anything when I turn on the camera. I haven't said like, oh, it's a new day or something. So... I don't know how this is even going to go. You guys are probably going to hate this one because it's so all over the place. I don't even know. Um, so yeah, I'm still in my pajamas and it's like, I think it's like 11 o'clock, but I just have been doing emails and stuff and um, I haven't, I did my makeup and um, washed my face, took a shower, like a light shower this morning, didn't wash my hair this morning. Um, and I just have like house clothes on, but um, all right, guys, so I don't know. I think I'm going out with my uh, girlfriend tonight just for some drinks, so I might bring you along there. And then tomorrow I will upload this video. Um, yeah, okay, bye. I'm going to share with you guys something I've been using, like, a lot lately, but I'm not sure that I... I, oh, I don't know. Actually, I think I like it more when I don't put a wing and I don't put any black eyeliner on the inside of my water lid. But I've been using this color tattoo by Maybelline and the, it's in creamy beige and that's the color it looks like. And because you guys know that I'm like, I don't, um, what's the word? I'm just not like a big makeup person, you know? Like I'm not into like all those like sh girls do like such good jobs with like um, blending shadows and stuff and I just feel like it doesn't, I don't look feel like I look good when there's like a bunch of caked on makeup on me. I'm like it's not because girls don't look like they have caked on makeup when they wear it, but when I wear it, I look like I have caked on makeup. It's disgusting. I don't know why. So I feel like this because it's like creamy. It doesn't look so cakey. Um. So I just like put it. And I'll let me show you guys. It kind of gives me like a bronzed. You know what it does? It brings out my eyes, my eye color more. I feel like. And I like that. Oh, I like to take a little bit of that same um, eyeshadow stuff and put it a little bit underneath. It's almost like kind of gothy in a way. I don't know. I'm just not feeling my face today though. I'm not feeling like the way it came out. It's like looking kind of dirty. I don't know why. I, it's the blush because my I still can't find a blush that I love. I don't know. I just want to show you guys that that with you guys because I do like it but I just feel like today because I put black eyeliner on it doesn't it doesn't give the same effect that it gave a few days ago when I did it I'm trying to find my mascara because I got my mascara um it's like not black right here I don't know why Um, and then what else? Oh yeah, I went to Barney's, of course, right? And, um, I got some new, cause I went in to get the Kevin Aquan. I went, I went in to get like a blush, um, and I went and get, I went in to get the contour, cheek contour and I had it in the past, but I returned it because I just didn't feel like I loved it. But I don't love my Anastasia pal palette cause it's just too orange. And I saw the Kevin Aquan one was um more in the medium is more of like not orange um but then i went there and i freaking bought too much stuff like i bought like stuff that i didn't need because ugh, so anyway 
I'm gonna ask you guys what you think about this. I bought this big foundation pal um, brush and it was whatever, like $80 or something, Kevin McQuan. But I don't, I like hate it. I don't like, it's not that I hate it, it's just it doesn't, I feel like with a foundation brush, you should be able to like do that and it should like, you know, like blend. It's like a dog fight. Um, but this has like a pointed tip on it, so you can't like blend, you're just like wiping. But then it's not even like, it doesn't move, so it's like a big stiff palette and you're like, so you, I use this, but I feel like I'm taking it back. I don't, that's like lame, right you guys? I, so can you recommend a good foundation brush for me? I want one that works like up one of these sponges, but I don't really want a sponge because I know I have to clean them and I don't know how to and I'm too lazy to do that. So I want something I can just go like this with, you know what I mean? Like big motion, big circle, circular motions. That's maybe a fluffy brush or something that will give you more of an airbrushed look. Um, but this is not doing it. No, no, no. I'm not into that. And then I got this NARS. Um, it's like a white, it's almost like a crystally white. It's like salt up whatever sparkly crystally white it's an um vent sale or something it's their new line for their lip glosses but i don't really like that very much so you, i mean i know i'm complaining right now you guys don't like that but um i'm being honest so you guys don't out, go out and make the same mistake i did because i made two mistakes with that <laughs> um but i got new lip smackers and i like these <laughs> these are my favorite Strawberries and cream. This one's white chocolate lemon. It's gonna have like a dessert buffet in my mouth. Royal red velvet. Mm. Ooh. Mm. And then vanilla buttercream. Loving that. Mm. Tastes so good. Now I don't need to eat anything. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is weird. What do you guys do? Like if I wear yoga, if you go to the supermarket, you put yoga pants on and you want to like throw something on over, but you don't want, I don't want to wear a sweatshirt. You know what I mean? Like what do you wear? I don't, you can't wear like a jean jacket because it looks stupid. I don't, I don't care what I look like. I just would like to have something that I just like throw on. I mean, I'm the kind of person you guys, probably don't know yet maybe you'll get to know through the vlogs but like I do not dress up during the day at all like I'm so I'm so bummy um but the only thing I have is like my HRH geo bombers which aren't like you know they're like kind of cropped I mean I could wear that this is what I usually wear like literally but I wish like they were like they've been longer because this is like not the look I want and then have to do that. It's cute, but I just want something that's like really long. I'm just gonna get like a big cardigan, I swear, and just throw it over. Like I would just wear this, but I feel like it looks so like re like almost just too like, crazy. Even though I wear that all the time like that, but I'm kind of filming now. I need a lint roller because living with these animals is like the worst when it comes to fur all over you. Okay. Ugh. Okay, well I can't find a jacket, but um, I'm going to wear my Bredo today, my Blanche Bredo. I love this smell. It's so good. My fave. Um, let's see what else. Should I just like super bum it and show you guys what I would really wear? <laughs> I would have just put this on and gone, but like that's so gross. <laughs> okay. Oh, I know what I'll wear. I remember now. So, um, yeah, like I have to do this every time because my rabbits are a disaster, even though I vacuum every day. Um, let's see what else. So, okay, I decided that it's not even cold out, and I like the way it looks like this. I don't look completely disheveled. Um, I look like a, I, you guys probably think I'm a total neurotic weirdo, and it's probably true. <laughs> um, 
So I'm just going to wear it like this, and then I have a scarf in the car, like a knitted scarf I just got, and I'm just going to put that over. Um, yeah. Okay, so... Um, oh, let me get my sunglasses. Not that you guys care. Okay. My Kris Jenner sunglasses, right, guys? Okay, I feel like I need more braid out. Okay, I'm going to get coffee now. Um, and then I'm going to go to the... No, thank you. Hey, thank you. I love um, getting. There's this guy that works at that coffee shop, and he like go, he knows me now pretty much. So every time I go in there, he's like. He knows what I want. <laughs> and it's good because he does a really good job, so. And you guys know how picky I am. So it's kinda like, yay. And he's not there, they, they don't do a very good job. <laughs> well they do, but just not perfect. Okay, so, let's go. I think I might put um, my top down in my car though because it's kinda nice out. And, Um, so yeah, I don't know, I don't know what's going on tonight, I'm not sure, 100% sure if I'm going out or not, hopefully I am, because then I'll be able to film, like, you know, like, how, getting ready or something, I don't know. But yeah, it's really nice out right now, so. It's amazing! Um, yeah. California, right? Ugh. I know, we're lucky here. I'm gonna get like so much hate now for my car, right? Because I have a convertible. You can just see all the comments coming in. Ugh, you guys, come on. I promise you guys, I work hard for everything, okay? You don't have to be hating on me because nothing is given to me. I promise you that. <laughs> Ugh, so annoying. Okay, um, let's see. Yeah, I think I have, to, I have to get, like, I have to go get, um... I hate that. It's like my brother. My brother has, like, a really fast car like that. And I hate when they, people do that because it freaks me out. Yeah, I need to get something and just hold that up there. I think it'd be easier. But let's see if you guys can hear me with the top down. Hopefully you can. I need to get some stuff in the house. Like, I feel like the only time I ever go to the supermarket is to get stuff for the rabbits. And I just don't like being in the supermarket a lot because, um, I don't know, I just, ugh, I don't really like going to the supermarket. So when I go, I just go for the rabbits and I just don't really get things to have to make. So I'm always eating, like, always make like weird things of whatever I have left to eat, which is good because I'm not wasting the food. Um, but I have nothing. Like last night I whipped up something like some ridiculous meal like egg whites with some cheese and like tomato sauce. I mean, and like I was okay, but it was like what I had left in the fridge and I'm happy I used it because I didn't waste it. But I would have liked to have something else in the fridge that I could have made. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. It's also I'm trying to like own, I don't like to keep things in my fridge or my cabinets because I'll eat it. It's just the way I am. Like if I have food around me, I, it's really hard for me not to eat it. So that's why I just don't buy anything. And if I need something, I'll run to the market. So um, it's just, it, that's what works for me. So maybe that's a good tip for anyone who's trying to lose weight too, is don't buy any, like, don't go buy like cookies. Like if you have to have a cookie, go buy one or buy, you know, buy a pack and then like give the rest to your office or something. You know what I mean? Like don't keep it at home. Just, it's not worth it. You'll end up eating the whole thing like I do. It's a huge problem. 
Anyways, so yeah, um, what turned out to be like a pretty boring day, um, it's actually going to be more exciting now. Um, my friend and I, we're just going to meet for drinks originally. Um, we usually meet each other like once a week or something. Um, but uh, we are going to the Laker game and like it wasn't expected. Like we thought we might, but we, um, um, we, we, then we thought we weren't. I don't know, whatever. So we're going now and it'll be fun. I honestly, I could have like just not gone. Like I didn't really feel like going. I could have just gone out for a drink or something, but um, I don't know, it'll be fun. And yeah, so I'm just starting there now except it's like rush hour. And I was kind of like this morning, you know, when like you don't think something's gonna happen. So you kind of gear down for like it and you kind of like think you're not gonna have to drive like really far whatever I don't know I gotta go all the way back down to downtown now and I didn't plan on going to downtown today but now I'm going and that's all right um so it'll be fun um yeah so we'll see how it goes it should, I haven't I didn't go to I forget did I go to Laker game it was Clipper game a couple weeks ago uh yeah so it'll be fun just I know the traffic is gonna be absurd right now it's gonna be ridiculous um but yeah let's see what else I can talk about I um we're gonna meet for drinks before it's 5:30 now, and the game doesn't start till like um, I think seven or 7:30. So we're just gonna go hang out at like the Staples um, kind of center around there. They have like restaurants and stuff around, like obviously all like arenas do. So we'll do that, and yeah, she's like my really good friend. I don't know if I've um, you guys know I'm like really picky about friends. Like I just I've never been the kind of person to. Like, I can always have friends if I want, you know what I mean? Like, anyone can find friends. It's not, that's not it. It's just, I am good at being alone, like, friend-wise, and, um, like I said before, I don't know. Like, if I just gotta mesh with you, and if I don't, I think I've been, like, used to not having friends because I was overweight as a kid and stuff, and I just didn't, I had a chip on my shoulder. Like, I just never really had friends, and so I think that's just the way I am now. Um, but, like... Chelsea, like, we've been we've been friends now for, it's not so long, I don't know, like, under six months, but I just feel like she's so great, and, like, she's, I'm having a girl crush on Chelsea, obviously, right? I'm, like, talking about my friend. Um, no, it's just, like, it's really rare that I actually, like, look forward or, like, want to hang out with friends. Like, sometimes, it's, like, it's daunting to me, but, um, I have to, like, gear myself up, myself up for it, but Chelsea's, like, so fun, so, um, yeah, I love that girl. And, yeah, we, don't, we always have, like, fun together and, like, get into a lot of trouble, and that's cool, like, it's just fun. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. Oh, let me do like my little stack for you guys. So you can see. Um, I wanted to show you guys the new crystals because or actually, so I'm only wearing one new crystal right now, and the other one is the original one or an older one. But the first one is my Act Like Royalty. Actually, they're both Act Like Royalty, and the second one is a new my new Act Like Royalty. These are both vintage stones, and um, the second one is a whiteout alabaster. I called it, and then I have my two metallic cocos on and my Lux hardware. And I love the stack. I just feel so, it's like so chic, you know what I mean? And it's like, just, I just love like the mix of everything. It's like, I don't know, what I put on, like when I make stacks, I just like some, I feel like, an, I don't know, I never wear a stack that I don't like and I always make new stacks. I don't know what it is about stacks. Like I feel like I can eat them because they look so perfect when I put them on. I, I don't know, I just love it. Um, but I want to show you guys the white. I don't know if you can tell, but it's all faceted. See how like the first one, the sapphire one, is very faceted? The white one is really faceted too, like a big crystal, but you can't see it in this lighting because it's just a white, solid white out alabaster color. It's so beautiful. Um, vintage and I think that one's even more rare than my other ones. I wasn't even able to get a lot of these so um, I will add these on my site so you don't even have to email me for any of these. I'll just have them on but I just think this is such a fab and I have my um, Lux turned around just because I, I don't know I just feel like I like it turned around today. So that's it. It's getting on the freeway now. Well, let's, let's just put it here. I just want to like turn around so I can see everything. Charles, turn around me. Huh? Turn around me. Oh. What did you say? Say hi. Hi. Lake show. <laughs>
It's like the perfect ratio of everything.